everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm doing a very 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 highly requested video um a makeup tutorial i've been wanting to do one for the longest time and i did film one but i just didn't like how it came out even though i did my makeup good i still didn't like how it came out i'm just very picky so here i am filming it again but it's actually going to come out this time and today i think i'm gonna do a really fun look i want to do like a bronzy like bronzy rose gold look with a pop of like hot pink so if you wanna see me slay and beat my face and learn how i do my makeup because a lot of the times I do my makeup myself, especially some red carpets and you guys don't know. And sometimes y'all like, who did your makeup? And I'm like, it was me. I beat this face. Um, so if you want to know how to do my makeup, and I wouldn't even call this an everyday makeup routine because I don't wear makeup every day. I barely wear makeup, but I do wear it sometimes. Um, so this is like a, if you're going out, maybe to a red carpet, maybe not. You could just be going to a fancy dinner. Or this could be typical if people want to wear this every day then keep on watching and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe for more videos and also um stay tuned um, watch the whole video because I'm doing a really big giveaway a makeup giveaway so stay tuned to the end of the video and you will see that one lucky person is gonna win and it's a lot so stay tuned so first what I do when I do my makeup is clean my face so I'm going to take my Bliss What a Melon Replenishing Watermelon Toner. And I'm going to clean my face because no matter how many times you clean your face, you're always going to have some dirt or something on it. So I'm cleaning my face. Also, I had makeup on yesterday because yesterday was BeautyCon. So I'm sure I have just leftover stuff, even though I did clean my face. Ooh, I got hair all over in my eye, y'all. Ouch. So we're just going to clean the face. And I had blue, like, under my waterline. And I'm sorry if I'm looking here and I'm looking here. I'm looking into my viewfinder and I'm looking. I have a vanity and I have a mirror right in front of me. So I'm looking into that. So now what we are going to do is wet the beauty blender i forgot to wet it before i came on camera so i will be right back and wet my beauty blender okay y'all i am back i damped my beauty blender and i'm gonna use my mario badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water just to refresh in my face and moisturize it i just like to put it on you don't have to but i like to it just keeps my face moisturized while I'm wearing all of this makeup. So, I'm sorry if you hear background noise. My mother is on the phone right now and she's talking. Um, anyways, I'm going to start off with eyebrows. So, I haven't had a chance to fully unorganize my makeup bag because I've been traveling and doing all these fun things. And I have to take my makeup with me. So, I'm sorry, y'all, if I can't find something. Because, first of all, I never can find anything. Um... <laughs> But I'm sorry if y'all are like, what is she doing? Why is she looking down like this? It's because I'm trying to look for something that I can't find. Here we go. I found it. So I start off with my Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B pencil. I do this. I'm going to put my hair back because this is just too much. I do this so I can brush my eyebrows up. I think that should be good. But again, I'm sorry if you hear my mother talking. She, um is very loud sometimes on the phone and i'm all the way upstairs and she's all the way downstairs so i'm sorry so anyways i like to brush up and then kind of just like level them out like brush up and then just even them out like that and then i'm going to use my anastasia brow definer in dark brown and i'm gonna fill in my eyebrows so i'm sorry if i'm looking in my mirror because it's very hard to do it in the viewfinder so but you guys can see so I don't usually fill in my eyebrows every day, but I'm only just doing this because I know people do and people like to fill in their eyebrows. I usually don't, but I'm just showing you if I were to do it, how I would. Hold on, let me let me tell her. Because I can hear it, so I know y'all can. There we go. Um, I like to fill it in. I used to fill my eyebrows in like really heavily 
and it just did not look good. Like I wish I could show you guys old pictures, but I don't want to embarrass myself. Um, but I used to fill in my eyebrows like crazy, but now I just do a little bit. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side. Eyebrows used to take me the longest of the most like crucial part. If my eyebrows don't look good, then the whole makeup look is just not gonna look good. I don't know. So now I'm gonna put on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And I'm just going to brush the hair up. Kind of do with the same thing I did when I um, was brushing them and then just go across. Okay, I think eyebrows are done. Now we're going to move on to foundation. So I use two foundations. I use Oma Beauty, their foundation, um, and shade, hold on, shade one? I don't know. Cause the bottom is like kind of discolored. I think it's Bronze Venus. Bronze Venus, I hope I'm correct on that. But I'm going to take Bronze Venus and I use that for like the center of my face because I'm, I'm lighter here. Hold on, someone's calling me. Say hi. What's up, man? I'm sorry guys, that was my friend King calling me. Um. So anyways, I'm going to, like I said, the center of my face is lighter, outer of my face is darker, so the, I use the Oma Beauty in the center. So I'm gonna put it on my Dior foundation brush. Just one, two, three. So I know it probably looks really light or doesn't match my skin tone, but trust me, I use this whenever I do my makeup and it looks really, really good. I honestly don't know how people just use a foundation brush and don't use a beauty blender because girl, the streakiness, I could never. Um, but some people are good at finessing it, so props to them, but I know I could never. So I'm just making sure I'm getting my T-zone and everywhere else. And now I'm gonna take my beauty blender, which is brand new. I popped out a new beauty blender for y'all. I could have used my stained dirty one, but I was like, no, I'm gonna use my new one. So I'm going to bounce as Patrick Starr calls it, the booty blender <laughs> on my face. So you wanna make sure you get your hairline. You don't wanna have a ring around your head. But I'm gonna get more of my hairline when I use my contour foundation shade. So now I'm going to take my NARS Radiant, I think this is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in shade Mako. This is it. This was originally my like original um, foundation shade, but I was dumb and bought this when I was tan, so obviously it's gonna be darker. Um, sorry, it's a get all every crease that's tucked my hair behind. Um, and then when I got back to my natural skin tone, it was just way too light. So it was kind of a waste of money, but then I learned how to finesse it and use it for my contour shade. Okay, so now I'm all done with the foundation application and I'm just gonna pounce it a little bit on my neck. Even though I'm not going anywhere, but if I was going out, I would do more on my neck and a little bit on my ears. Um, just cause you don't wanna look like you have a mask on your face. Okay, so now my favorite part, we're gonna do concealer. And I use a lot of concealer. I use different shades. I have a bunch of concealer in my drawer. Um, let's see, Fenty Beauty sent me a concealer and I have not used it yet. But I'm gonna use a bunch. Um, I'm gonna use my Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. And I'm going to apply this under my eyes and this is in shade Warm Sand. But trust me, this is not the only um, concealer I'm going to do. I'm sorry, people just want to blow up my phone today. Um, hold on, y'all. So now I'm just going to beat my concealer in. So usually I like to do a darker tone, darker shade, and then just get like lighter and lighter. So now I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty since this is more fuller coverage and this is in shade Caramel Corn. So this is what it looks like, it's a little bit lighter. 
Pewter Beauty, their stuff smells the best. Like their foundation, concealers, they all smell like roses. Like I don't know how they get that smell, but it smells amazing. So I'm just gonna beat this in. And yeah. Now I don't know how this fully looks when you guys are watching it, but I noticed that last time, like when I filmed my mom's makeup tutorial, some of the colors like look lighter, like it looked like my um, her stuff that matches skin tone and it does it's just the lighting so i'm sorry if it might seem a little bit off but it's a camera and sometimes the camera picks up colors differently than rather than what it looks like in real life okay so i think i'm done usually i'll, I'll do more concealer but i think i'm done for today so let's see what we're gonna do next oh we're going to put concealer under my eyebrows i do that sometimes to carve them out it depends but today I'm just gonna do it to show you how I do it. So um, for this, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. So it looks like in the shade Neutral, D35 Neutral. I'm just gonna put this on my hand. I'm sorry, y'all. I should really turn my ringer off. Um, and then I'm going to take the same brush that I used to fluff up my eyebrows. It comes to the angled part. So I'm going to use the angled part for it. And I'm gonna use the Locket Concealer and I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in shade Medium Beige. And I'm gonna mix that because I like the consistency of the Locket Concealer, but it's a little bit too dark for under the eyebrow. So this is the most crucial part because if you mess this up, I don't know what to tell you, I really don't. So I'm just gonna be careful. Honestly, I feel like I can go a little bit lighter because you want it to be defined and obviously look like there is somewhat of a difference. So I'm going to use Huda's um, concealer and see how that works for me since that is a lot lighter. So sometimes if I feel like it's too much, I'll have a towel down and I'll take some off and then keep going. I cannot wait to show you guys what I have for the giveaway. I think you guys are really gonna like it. So stay tuned for the end of the video and don't fast forward to the end of the video, okay? Watch the full video and then you'll get there eventually, okay? So yeah, then I'm gonna make like marks. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then pounce it together. So the point of doing concealer under your eyebrow just really cleans up any excess or errors that you made um and sometimes i'll take my finger and just blend it out a little bit so i'm going to do the same thing i'm just going to use the huda concealer and do the same thing on the right eye and then i'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender now i feel like this sometimes my like i always see there's a difference so i'm gonna go back on this eyebrow and use the lighter concealer because this one stands out a little bit more so now my eyebrows are done they look really good oh okay so now we're done with foundation you can put that away which i'm gonna do right now so i can clean up as i go and now what are we going to do we're going to move on onto baking so i'm going to take my huda beauty um baking powder and kuna afa kuna afa kuna afa i don't know um but yeah that's the name of it and i like this because um this is good for darker skin tones like me or just medium skin tone like me um it won't give you an ashy cakey look Especially if you're a little bit darker than me, this will work great. And if you are um, more of a yellow tone, I wouldn't suggest someone who has a red undertone and I have a yellow undertone. So this works great for me. So I'm gonna take my beauty blender and go underneath and bake. And this also smells like roses. Like, it just smells amazing. All of her products smell so good. Now I'm also gonna go down and contour my nose with the powder. Like that, I kind of look crazy. So I'm just going over any place that I highlighted. Okay, so now for eyeshadow. 
I'm going to choose between the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, which looks like this, which I just got at BeautyCon, which is beautiful, or her um, Rose Gold Palette, which I might do the Rose Gold Palette because I'm already going for a Rose Gold look. So let me just double check on which one I want because I don't know. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go with the rose gold palette. We're gonna do that. So I'm going to do a bronzy rose gold look with a neon pink. Um, somehow I'm gonna do that. I don't know. I'm winging it. We're gonna figure it out together. So I'm going to take one of my eyebrow brushes. Let me find them. So I'm going to take one of my eyebrow brushes and my eyebrow brushes are the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill and I'm going to take the Huda Beauty palette and I'm going to go into color Henna and Sandalwood, these two at the bottom. So I don't want it too red, so I'm mixing those colors to tie in together. I'm just buffing that in into my crease. Now on, I'm looking on the camera, it looks like it's popping more on the camera, but it's not that heavy in real life. So, I don't know what that's about. Now I'm very into like neutral colors and not really experimenting with bright colors, which I probably should soon. Um, I just haven't gotten the chance to and I haven't really felt comfortable doing so, but I think I really am going to start very, very soon. So I'm just buffing that in my crease. And I'm gonna do the same, I like to do both eyes at the same time. So whatever step I just did, I'm gonna go back and do that on that. And so I like to just use my finger to blend it in. And then I'm gonna take my smaller brush and use, let me see what color I should use. I'm gonna go into the other palette and this is the Desert Desert Dusk palette, and I'm just gonna use um, color sand, desert sand, for under my eyebrow. That's the only reason why I'm going back to that, just so I could set it. And it is a lighter eyeshadow color, so to kind of give it that ombre effect. Like this, and this is just the base, um, which I'm gonna use. But I'm gonna take a, another color very shortly. Yeah, this is kind of just like an undertone for me that I like to do. Mind you, I've never used these products before, so this is also like a first time thing, but I love Huda's products. And I'm gonna do that on the other eye. So it's not extremely pigmented, which sometimes I like. Um, but now I'm going to use this new makeup, makeup brand that I just came across at BeautyCon. It's called Ace Butte. Or, no, Ace Beauty, Beauty, yeah, Ace Beauty, Ace Beauty, I don't know. Um, but I'm using their Glimmer Shadow, and this is in color Cotton Candy, and this is giving me very rose gold, pink vibes, and this is very, very pigmented. So, I'm gonna use that on top. Also, if you want more pigment, you can use like some kind of setting spray or something, which I am gonna use and try. I'm gonna use my All Nighter Pollution Protection Urban Decay Spray. And I'm just gonna spray this on my brush. A little, tap a little bit of the excess off and this will pick up the color a lot more. Yeah, for sure. And I'm just gonna tap it on there. Like I'm really not fancy when it comes to eyeshadow looks and going crazy with it. Now I'm gonna go back into to my Huda Beauty palette and use the same colors that I did before just to fully integrate it with the powder and add a little bit more. I think this is all I'm gonna add. Like I said, I'm very um, typical when it comes to makeup. Like I don't like a lot of crazy makeup. I like it to be nice and cute. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do from Huda Beauty's other palette, her neon palette, I am going to do a hot pink like underline. My makeup artist Brandy did blue on me. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's on my Instagram page. If you don't follow me, go follow me at Scott Jackson, S K A I. And um, she used like a very neon um, poppy blue under my under eye and it looks so good um so i'm gonna take these two colors here don't know what these two colors are called but the two most pink ones and i'm going to put that under my waterline and you want to use a really small brush for that so i'm going to use this tiny one here so oh yeah this is very pigmented i'm just gonna Take that under my waterline. It doesn't have to be crazy, but you do want to see a little bit of the pink. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this sparkly pink shade that they have and put that in my inner eye. And it's just to integrate the pink on both the top and bottom. This is looking really pretty. It's just, I think that's good. So now I'm going to take my bigger brush and get all of this powder off. I'm using my Fenty Beauty brush. I'm just gonna dust all the powder that was on there. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna blend it in. And now I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty bronzer in shade Caramel Cutie. This is like the perfect bronze shade for me personally. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna use that same brush and go in. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to contour my nose. So I'm gonna take another small brush and pounce it on there. And just contour my nose. I don't like to contour with concealers. I don't know. Something like a heavy, heavy contour. I don't need a small looking nose. I already have a small nose, kind of. So I just like to do it with powder because I don't know. It's just my preference. But I used to use concealer and I could never really do it right. So that's why I just stick with powder. And I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm still not the best at nose contouring. I'm really not. And there you have it. This is probably the best I've ever contoured my nose, to be honest. Usually it just, not a good look. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put all this back and I'm going to pick a highlighter I want to use because I'm pretty much almost done with my makeup guys I'm gonna pick a highlighter I want to use so usually I use my Dior palette in the shade this is the Dior backstage glow face palette and usually I use shades bronze blush and strobe I mix those all together and somehow a beautiful shade comes about so oops so I'm gonna use a smaller brush for my nose. Um, I like to use like a pinky shade. Oops, that's a little bit too bright. Oh, I just really want in there. And I'm only gonna do part of my bridge, not fully down. And then I'm gonna do that on my Cupid's bow. And now I'm gonna do blush and I'm gonna come back to my highlight, but I like to do blush first. So, I am going to use the James Charles palette by Morphe. And, oh, I really, oh my gosh, I literally could have used the pink in this for under my eyes. You know what, I'm gonna try it because I've never used this palette other than for blush. Ooh, this is pigmented. I should use this more. I want to do like a pretty rainbow eye look. Let me know if you guys will want that. Oh my gosh, so makeup has gotten into my eyeball, literally. 
Um, but no, this is really, really pretty. And I should have used it. Why wasn't I thinking? But anyways, I'm gonna use blush. So I'm gonna use this red shade and this orangey shade and mix it together. You can use a lot with this palette. You can use these for contour, you can use that for cheeks, whatever you kind of want to do. So, what the heck? Wow, no, I was on a roll. What happened? No. I was literally on a roll. And I just put like dirt, what? Ugh. Now I'm going to wipe it off. Wow, this is crazy. Like, I don't know if you guys can still see it. Wow, and now, you know what? I don't. Uh, I can't believe I did that, y'all. I cannot believe I did that. I was literally on a roll. I was on a roll, and I messed up my makeup. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna turn my ringer off. But I think this is pretty much fixed. I mean, it's whatever, but I was literally on a roll, y'all, and then I don't know what happened. So I'm not gonna use that brush again. But I'm gonna go back to the James Charles palette and pray it works out. That dirt really ruined my mood. Whatever the heck that was, I don't know. Um, I think I probably accidentally tapped like a darker color um, while I was doing it. It's fine, it's whatever. <laughs> okay, that's good, because we're gonna cover it with highlight anyway, so. so. I'm gonna use my other Fenty Beauty blush, I mean brush, not blush, brush. And I'm going to use the same Dior colors for the highlighter and do the same thing. So now what am I gonna do? I'm going to do mascara. I'm going to use Too Faced's mascara. Y'all know what this is. I can't say the name because it's kind of inappropriate. Y'all know what this is. It's the best mascara in the world, literally. As you can tell, I put a lot of mascara and I take my time because I always end up getting mascara on my lid and I'm really trying not to this time. So now I'm going to do it a little bit on my under eye, I mean my under eyelashes. Okay, I think we're almost done guys. So now I'm going to do a lip color. I usually do a lip liner but I can't find it. So I'm going to improvise and I used to do this all the time i'm going to use my eyebrow pencil as lip liner i used to do this all the time it doesn't look crazy um i'm just gonna do it a little bit but i just like my lips to fine but i do i used to use this eye pencil as lip liner all the time before i actually got lip liner so i guess i'm back to it for a video trust me it's not gonna look crazy so I'm gonna try this new lip color. Actually, no, I think I'm gonna do Huda Beauty. Um, see how this looks, the look. Yeah, this is pretty nice. This is their lipstick in shade Joyride, which is like a mauve like rose pink, dusty pink. And I'm gonna use that. It's really pretty and creamy. And then now I'm just gonna put everything away slowly because I don't feel like doing it out there. Um, so I'm just going to put all of this away um, and I'm gonna use a little bit of this um, lip liner, the center. And this is M Milani, Milani, and I don't know what color this is. I have no idea. It might be dist, but I don't know if that's it. Okay guys, we're pretty much done. Now I'm gonna take my Urban Decay spray and I'm gonna set my face. This is what I would do if I was going out. This is what it kind of looks like. And now to finish the look, I'm going to fix my hair up. 
I'm going to tuck it from my ear and I'm going to brush it and straighten it a little bit. And let me know, do you guys like this hair color on me? I really wanted to try like a lighter brown with some blonde tones, but let me know if you guys like it and if I should keep it or try it again. Um, but I'm going to straighten my hair now and I mean, I love this hair straightener. It's like bedazzled, but it's by um, Kendra's Boutique. Yeah, Kendra's Boutique on Instagram. And she sells amazing hair. I didn't get my hair from her, but she has amazing hair. And she also has like amazing accessories and like this you can put on if you're doing your makeup like that. But I'm just going to straighten my hair for most of it. But this is pretty much the final look guys. Hold on. I'm very particular when it comes to my hair. So this is the final look. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys more to the sunlight, the natural lighting, so you guys can see. Um, why does it look so... Ooh, why does it look so white? This is not the best lighting. Um, but you can kind of see, so you can kind of see what my hair is looking like. I bumped the ends. Um, and there's my makeup vanity in the back, so that's why I was saying I'm looking in the mirror. But I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Um, now you guys can know how I do my makeup, all the steps, all of that. Um, actually, I'm gonna go back and sit down because I forgot. So we have the giveaway, guys, and I'm gonna show you everything that I'm giving away. So do not click off of this video. I'm just gonna grab this stuff from the corner and be right back. So I am actually giving a lot away. Um, so I have this bag. Now it's not all filled, but I went to BeautyCon and I got a lot of brand new makeup, untouched, and I think you guys would really like it. So the first thing I'm giving away, mind you, one lucky person is gonna get this stuff. Um, it is the Highlight Blossoms by Lime Crime. And it's this really pretty highlighter um, that I love and I would use it, but I'm going to give it to one of you guys. And then I am giving away the Lime Crime Mini Lip Kit, which has a lip liner and like a, I don't know if it's a lip gloss or a matte lipstick, but I'm assuming it's matte. Um, and this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's what it looks like. Then I'm gonna give you this other Lime Charm product with a bunch of different um, liquid lips and a lip pencil, a lip liner, and this is what it looks like. So it comes with three lip liner. And then this palette, I love Ace Beauty. Oh, I just used one of their things. Um, but it's like a purple palette. And it looks like this, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Um, you can see my camera in there but i'm going to give that away as well and um, everything has been untouched it's literally brand new i just bought it well i didn't buy it um i went to beauty con and i was like hey like i actually want to give my fans some of this stuff i'm giving away the huda beauty neon palette um the all pink one which is really really pretty i love huda beauty so i had to give something away to you guys that was huda beauty and this is what it looks like and I'm gonna put it back in the packaging so y'all know I didn't use this stuff. Um, another Ace Beauty Glimmer Shadow. I actually use a glimmer shadow on my eye. I'm giving this one away. It's this really pink, pink, purple, plum color that is amazing. Now I'm giving away Huda Beauty Summer Highlight Palette, which is really, really pretty. Um, if I can get it out of the, if I can get it out of the thing. Now, I don't know why this, I'm gonna have to cut it open. I'm sorry, this one's not gonna come in the clear plastic because it was just too much and I wanna show you guys everything that you're getting. Um, oof. Lord, this is just strong. Hold on, we're almost there. Oh, there we go. So it's this palette by Huda Beauty. And that's so pretty. It's like you can see the highlight or highlight moves on the package. Um, but this is what the highlighter looks like. It's really pretty. You don't have to just use this for highlighter. You can, oh, it comes with the card and everything, her whole face on there, you know. Um, you don't have to just use this for highlighters. It could be eyeshadows, whatever, your body um, palette shimmers, whatever you want to use it for. I'm going to put that back in there for you guys. 
I'm giving away this Lime Crime Diamond Dew Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. This is so good. I would totally use this, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put them good stuff. Um, so there's that. And now I'm going to use Lime Crime's Venus XX. Why I say use? I'm gonna show you Lime Crime's Venus XX. XS Sun Kiss. I think this is palette. I'm not sure. Yeah, eyeshadow palette. So it comes with four cute colors. Um, I would definitely use these two. I'm going to put it back in the box for y'all. We have two more things. Um, the Ace Butte, another of their glitter glimmer shadows. This is like a silver color. Really, really pretty. The last thing is a Huda Beauty nude palette let me show you what it looks like this is so gorgeous i love how they all come with like a card they all come up with like a a card of her eyes or something and this is what the palette looks like so like gorgeous like these glitter these glitters oh my gosh but use these these are my type of colors, but I had to give away to you guys because I already have a lot of makeup. Um, but yes, this is pretty much everything that you guys are going to be getting. One lucky person is going to be getting all of this, literally all of it. So what you have to do to enter, I'm kind of just making up the, um, the rules on the top of my head. But what you have to do, you have to make sure you are subscribed to my channel. You have to make sure you follow me on Twitter at Sky Jackson. Follow me on Instagram at Sky Jackson. And tell me in the comments below why you guys love makeup. Um, why you guys love makeup. Um, what's your favorite looks. Like just anything you want to comment about makeup that you guys like. What you guys like to do with it. Comment that down below. And please make sure when you do, um, you tag your Instagram. Because whoever wins, I'm going to contact you directly in direct message. So yeah, just comment down below why you like makeup. What's your favorite looks to create. Anything you want to put. Um, it's really not that much to do but yeah you just have to subscribe to my channel i will have my post notifications on follow me on twitter and instagram comment that below leave your instagram and i'm going to i'm going to um pick a winner a week from now so whenever whenever this video comes out the week so i think i'm gonna upload this on sunday so next sunday i'm going to pick a winner um and i'm gonna contact you directly um and yeah i'm so excited for one of you guys to get this i am so happy for you guys literally i will use all of this but i was like i have to give it to my supporters and my fans because you guys are amazing and i've always wanted to do a giveaway so like i said to win all of this stuff in the bag all you have to do is follow me on instagram at sky jackson twitter at sky jackson turn on my post notifications um subscribe and comment down below why you love makeup what would you do with the products um what's your favorite looks create literally anything about makeup that you guys like you can comment down below and leave your instagram so i can make sure that i can contact you when you win and um yeah but you have to send me proof that you followed me and do did all that stuff in dm when i um when i pick the winner but i'm going to have more giveaways soon um some are going to be different giveaways not just makeup so everyone is going to have a chance to win eventually and yeah guys so thank you guys so 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 much for watching my 2019 makeup tutorial this is so pretty literally look at the eyes look at the eyes look at that Ooh, ooh. Um, so I'm so happy that you guys like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want me to do more makeup looks, more tutorials. Um, comment down below what other makeup looks or videos I should do. And I will do them and come through for you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all and see you next Sunday.